Hello everybody, it's Paul Koldrick. I'm going to teach you five ways to help you win matches or help you practice correctly from a lower level to a professional level. Six reds in front of the pockets. Just try and pop them no side, just middle of the white ball. And nice and easy, try to get position on the next one as best as possible. So again, just nice and slowly, just trying to concentrate on potting the ball. Make sure the weight is coming up towards the other reds. So again, main thing is just potting the balls, get a bit of confidence. So again, make sure the weight coming up further up the table to get on the last red. And then a nice easy red and straight on the black. First one. So second one, um, again nice and easy for, for a lower level player, it's just putting each ball into the corner pockets, just trying to stay still, just trying to watch the ball go into the pocket, it's all about confidence. So in front of the ball, come into the ball and just try and pot it straight in the pocket. Again nothing too hard, just all about confidence. Again, same the other side, nice and slowly. Make sure we watch the ball into the pocket. And last one. Nice and easy in the black three cushion. <laughs> okay, so the next one, it's the same uh, exercise as one before, a little bit more difficult because we're closer to the cushion. So the difference with the hand on the cushion, which you can see in the link, my friend Nicolas Henrique has done it, not Ushan Bolt, but Nicolas Henrique. Um, so the same, same system, play the shot, stay down on the shot, wait until the ball goes in the pocket, get back up and move across. Okay, so let's try. So nice and slowly, make sure we stay down on the shot, watch the ball go in the pocket. When it's in the pocket, you get back up. So last one. And then back on three cushion. I'll get it. Not yet. <laughs> so, number four. There are different lineups we can do. Uh, easy, not easy. Loads of different ways. You can set up all the balls in any order, pop them in any order, in any pocket. You can go reds, then yellows, or all the yellows, and then the reds. There's so many different ways to, to, to do it. 
even choosing one pocket for all of the balls, it's, it's possible. Um, a good way to start is try to do it all the yellows and then all the reds. It's a good warm up, it's quite difficult, you need to control the white, you need to have the right angle to go down for the next ball. So I'll try the yellows first and then reds and we'll see how we go. So for the moment it's okay. So making sure you keep a nice position, as tight as you can the white. So concentrate on the last ball. So that was through in the reds and then the yellows. It's great because we need to make sure we keep an eye on the white ball and concentrate on the ball at the same time. Like I said, there's so many different ways to do this. There's so many difficulties we can have, but start with something easy and then gradually move up. So last one, uh, almost professional. Uh, this is just to, to show you an exercise to, to keep your cue action nice and straight. Uh, so now we're going to start off with just potting the black, stunning the white, so the white's going to stop dead. The white will take the place of the, of the black. Concentrate on potting the ball, hitting the white just slightly below middle, middle of the white to make it stop. Then we move on to the same one with a follow through. If you can pot the black and the white in the same pocket, perfect. And the same screwing back, Make sure you pop the black and then try to screw the white back into this pocket here. Again, the most important is potting the black. If you can pot, do both at the same time, it's perfect. But the most important is always potting the ball, always. So I come straight into the shot, nice and straight. So in position, nice and slowly, push through and don't move. So that's the stun shot. I'm going to try the same thing with the follow through. Again, it's the same principle, just hitting the white on the top to try and follow it through in a nice straight line. So I'll come back straight on it again. So I'm behind the shot again, walking through, hitting the top of the white, and I'll follow the white through. So, last one, the same shot again, so hitting low on the, on the ball, screwing the white back. Lots of people find this a lot easier, screwing the white, but in reality it's, it's all the same, but it, people obviously feel more comfortable hitting low on the white ball. So do the same thing, coming straight through the ball, look at the white and the black and the pocket nice and slow, push through, and the white should come straight back in a straight line. There you go, good exercises. Again, we can move the black and the white closer together, further apart, to make it harder if you want, or easier. Um, the most important thing here is to make sure the black goes in, you keep nice and steady on the shot, you don't get up too early, and just relax and just learn how to push through the white ball. Okay, so we went through five different uh, levels of practice and shot playing. Um, the idea is obviously what level, what level you have, gradually, gradually move up. Try to get to the hardest one. Um, even write down the scores that, you're, that you get, 
maybe this can help you in the future to have some sort of um, some sort of objective, some sort of a score to beat every time you practice. And enjoy yourself. I mean, everything's about enjoying yourself and, and getting better and, and, and going home and feeling, well, I learned something today. Mm -hmm.